Okay, welcome back. In this part, I'm going to show you how to shade your 3D model, which is essentially the process of adding color to each part of your 3D model. And if you want, you can download this entire project file on my Patreon. So consider becoming a member and get access to my past and future tutorial project files. All right, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so let's first go into Material Preview by holding Z and Material Preview. And now we'll be able to see exactly what sort of colors that we can add to our model live in the viewport. So let's go to the Material Properties to start adding some color. Let's click on New to add a new material for the entire body here. Well, it's called Body, but we should rename it and call it Robots. Now, if I were to make a change here, for example, I can mess with the metallic value and make it completely one and it'll make the robot completely metallic. I can also change the roughness and make it zero, making the robot extremely, well, just absolutely reflective. Uh, but I'm actually gonna make the metallic material 0.5. I'm not gonna make it this shiny or reflective. I'm actually gonna make the roughness 0.4. Next, I am going to bring back my background image. Let's go to front view. Let's hide the robot for a second. And we can see that there are parts where the robot has these shiny, dark metallic uh, metal material. So we'll be adding those to each of our parts on the robot. So bring back your robot, select the robot, go to edit mode, and let's go ahead and hover over each sphere here. And I'm gonna hit L on my keyboard to select it. So L, which selects the entire sphere. Then move your mouse over here, hover over it, and hit L. L here, L here, L, L. These bottom parts were also metallic, so let's actually go into wireframe. And we could, with the face select tool, we want to make sure we hold shift so we don't end up deselecting these parts by accident. So hold shift, and then we can click and drag. Box select, boom. We also need to select these parts here. So hold shift plus alt, and then we'll click on this line here to select the entire row. So boom, 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 and one more here. We also need to select the fingers as well. So hold shift and we're just gonna box select them. Make sure you don't end up selecting this part right here. We only need to select the fingers. So hold shift, box select, and hold shift, box select. Boom, do the same on the other side. We also need to select these parts here. So let's go holding Alt and then Shift, and we'll just do it manually like this. Boom. We can also, let's also do this part as well. We also gotta orbit around and just select these parts. So let's go into solid mode, Shift plus Alt, select this. We'll do the same on this side. This row here and this row here. Okay, the neck as well. So let's go to minus Y. Let's go into wireframe and we'll just hold shift, box select again. Anything else? We could also go into solid mode. We can also make these parts here metallic. So hold shift plus alt, this row, maybe this, this as well, this side, this side, up here as well. Okay, I think that's good for now. Let's go over here to our material properties. Let's go ahead and add in a new material. So click the plus icon and we'll rename this to dark metal. It's gonna be metallic, so make it completely metallic. And right now nothing's happening. That's because we're not in material preview. So hold Z, go into material preview and still nothing has happened. And that's because we need to hit assign. So once you hit assign, the dark metal color will be assigned to each of the selected material. Let's make sure the color is a little dark. And then once you hit assign, you can see that it's changed. And if we tab back out, we have the metallic material. And now you can adjust the metallic material and it'll change all the parts. So I wanna make it a little more shiny. So let's do 0 0.3. There we go. Okay, this next part is probably gonna be the hardest part. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we need to apply the dark metal material to certain parts of the ears. So this part here is metal and this part here is metal. And then this middle part is this glowing blue color. 
So we're going to have to apply it by selecting certain faces on the ears. Let's do this. Let's bring back our robots. Let's go select the body or sorry, the robot, and we can go into edit mode and let's deselect and let's start selecting parts of the ear that is going to be this dark metal color. To make this easy, I'll add a border where the metallic material ends or starts. So let's say the metallic material will start or it'll end right here. So let's hold alt and then click on this line right here. Let's say the metallic material will end right here. So shift plus alt click and there you go. So everything in between this is going to be metal. So let's go ahead and start selecting all the rows in between the ear here. That's going to be metallic. So hold shift plus alt. Let's start selecting like this. Whoops. Control Z. Zoom in a little more if you have to. Boom. Okay. We also need to make this part here metallic as well because this inside part is going to be blue. So let's go ahead and let's select this row right here. So shift plus alt, boom, and let's do another one and another one. Okay. Now we can go to the side view like this. We can just select all the parts in the middle here. That's going to be metal. So to do that, we can just use the select circle tool. Now hold shift and you can just click and start adding in those faces. Be careful not to go outside the borders that you just made. Make sure it's within, you know, the border that you added. So I'm just going slowly here and adding in those selected faces. I'll zoom in. Boom. Okay. So now we have the selected parts that is going to be this dark metallic color. All we have to do now is go into material preview. And then with this dark metal material selected, we can just hit assign. Boom. It's as easy as that. And now we have that material assigned to our ear. We're going to repeat that same process on this other ear. So I encourage you all to do that yourself. I'm going to speed through this here. Okay, once you've done that, we can go back and use our regular select box tool. And I'm going to select the middle parts here, which is going to be that glowing blue color. So let's go to minus Y and let's first deselect. And then I'm going to select the parts which are going to glow. So again, I'm going to hold Alt, click here, boom, and then I'll hold Alt plus Shift. And I'm going to keep clicking inside to get those parts that are going to glow. I'll do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to click on the parts that are going to glow. So the faces that I've selected here are going to be the parts that glow. So go ahead and add another material by hitting this plus icon, hit new. Now for the surface type, if you want it to glow, you need to change it to emission. And we'll change the color to this light blue. Okay, now just hit assign. Now, if you tap back out, you can see that we have that blue glowing color. Right now, the glow is not visible because we are viewing this in material preview. But if you go into render mode, it's a lot more apparent and you can increase the strength like this and it'll increase the glow. Okay, let's go back to material preview. We'll rename this to blue glow and we'll rename that first material that we made to robots base material. Now let's see what we have. Let's look at the reference image. Okay, we see that there is that glowing figure up on top here. So let's go add that on this antenna. So click here, go to edit mode. And if we toggle between, if we hide the robot for a second, there's this blue glow here. And then inside there's just like super bright. So we can easily do that by just clicking on our face with the face select tool. and Take a guess on what we're going to do. How do you make a small face within a face? Using the inset tool right here. So use the inset tool. Let's make a small face. Kind of like this. Okay. And now we can go ahead and add in that material by selecting 
the outer part right here. So hold Alt. First, let's use the select tool. Hold Alt and just select the outer ring. Click on your blue go, blue glow, and just hit assign. We can also add another glow effect. Hit new, call this super bright glow. And this is also gonna be emission. We'll make it blue as well, but it's gonna be super bright. So let's select this interface here. Select your super bright glow. We'll make it like, we'll make it like eight. And then we could just hit assign. And there you go. You have that glow. Let's assign that metallic material to the rest of the antenna. So let's go into edit mode. Let's hold alt. And just select all the faces outside. We're probably gonna have to do that on the backside as well. And let's make sure everything is selected. Yeah, I believe everything is selected. Oh, no, we didn't select this part here. Boom. Now the whole thing should be selected. Yep. Okay, and then we can just click on dark metal and just hit, well, let's go into material preview and just hit assign. There you go, it's added. Add the same to the bottom. So let's go into wireframe. Let's select all the faces here. Assign that material. Let's go and let's see what we're missing. We also got to add that belt with that same dark material. Pretty easy to do. Let's go to the robot. Let's click our robot, go into edit mode. To see this better, we can go into wireframe and we'll select the parts that's going to be the belt. So select the faces that you want the belt material to show up on. So hold alt, we'll select this row, hold shift, this, this. Now we need to make a small little indent. If you remember, we just hit E to extrude up and then escape to set the extrusions back in place. And then we can just hit S on our keyboard, extrude in a bit. And then we can just go into material preview and assign that dark metal material. Let's go look at the robot. Okay, we still need to add this glowing little blue orb in the middle. To do that, we're gonna use the geometry on our body. So go into edit mode, let's go to wireframe. So let's do that right here. Let's deselect, box select everything here. So box select this part, that's good enough. Since we're in wireframe, we probably selected the back faces as well. Let's go check, yes we did. So we gotta deselect those. Hit C on your keyboard and then the middle mouse button and you can just deselect all those. Let's actually orbit around. Let's go to solid mode and we can actually hit E on our keyboard to extrude in. So hit E, extrude in, click and that's it. You can also hit S to make it more visible. Just select your blue glow and let's go into material preview and just hit assign. Now we got a blue glow in the middle of our robots. Finally, we have the screen left. So the screen is gonna be pretty cool. Let's go into edit mode. Let's start selecting the screen. So let's deselect first and then let's go to the front view. So to manually do this, we can actually hold alt and select the middle row right here. Something like this. On your keyboard, you can just hold control and the plus on your number pad, and it'll start selecting all the faces like this. We gotta stop right here. Uh, let's go to the bottom, hold Alt plus Shift, and let's select the last three rows. Okay. Let's go to minus X. It's wireframe, and again, we'll use the deselect tool by hitting C. We can scroll on our mouse wheel to make it bigger, and just hold the middle mouse button and deselect. Go slowly here, we don't want to deselect our screen by accident. So let's just go here, slowly. Oh, whoops, I deselected back, it's okay. We'll just add it, add it back later. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to front view and let's go to solid mode and let's see what we do. Okay, so we deselected this by accident. So let's just, you know what, let's manually do it. I'm gonna hold shift and just start clicking all the faces that I deselected by accident. <clears throat> okay, our screen is finally selected. Now let's make a new material for our screen. So click the plus icon to add in another material. Hit new. We can rename this material to screen. 
And then let's go to material preview to see better what's going on. We'll make the screen 0.1 roughness and it's gonna be pretty dark. So let's make it black. All right, now all we have to do is just hit assign. Boom. Let's go into object mode. And there you go, you have your screen right there. Now you're probably wondering how we're gonna add in those eyeballs on our screen, those LED eyeballs. To do that, I'm gonna make this very simple for all of you. Since this is a beginner tutorial, we're just gonna use an image and slap it on to our geometry here. That is a very common technique that we like to use in the 3D industry or even the visual effects industry. I'm gonna go into the front view. Let's select our screen here. And then in the material properties, we're gonna to go to base color here. And then I'm gonna go and select image texture. And now all we have to do is find an image, a smiley face image like this and project it onto our screen. Now I'll leave a link in the description for the same smiley face that I'm using. You can actually use several different options. I'm gonna click open and I'll search for one of the images that I downloaded. So we have, so we have different options here. I think I'm going to use this one, open image. That looks a little weird. So to fix that, we can actually go into edit mode and we can just hit U and we can use project from view. Now it's a bit too big, so we can edit this in another window. I'll show you how to do that. We can go to the top right corner here, click and drag to open a new window. Now we can go to this menu right here and open up the UV editor. This is how you can adjust the sizing of the image that you just imported. So use your mouse, hover over here and hit A to select everything. And then we can hit S to scale it. And you can see that the changes, you can see that the change is happening live on the left side of the screen, but I'm just going to position it the way I want to. So if you want to position it, you can hit a G on your keyboard and then move it where you want to. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's hit tab to go back into object mode. And there you go, my image is right there. Now, if you wanna change the color, you can easily do that by going into something we call the shader editor. Hit N to close that menu. And this is the shader editor. Now here you have the image that you just imported plugged into this principal BSDF node, which is connected to this material output. Now, if you disconnect this, then the image is gone. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to end up deleting this. So click on your principal BSDF and just hit X to delete. Let's do shift A and we're gonna add in a emission node. Click on the emission node. We're going to plug the emission node into the surface right here. Now it's gonna be glowing like this, but don't worry, we're actually gonna change the color by adding in one more node, shift A, search for a color ramp node. Okay, now all you have to do is take this color socket here plug it into the factor of your color ramp, and then take your color ramp and plug it into the emission. Now the image is back, but we wanna change the color. Okay, so go ahead and click on this icon right here. So once you have that clicked, click on the white bar, and we wanna change the color like this. I'm gonna change it to the blue color that I have. That's pretty much it. You can change the strength here to add more glow, but that is how you change the color of your image. Pretty simple. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but this is a pretty simple node setup in order to change the color. You have your picture or your image right here plugged into the color ramp, which controls the color, and this emission controls the strength, so how bright it is. Now, we don't need this window anymore, so if you wanna collapse it, you can just click right here and then drag to the side, like this, it's gone. Now you don't have to use the same colors that I'm using. You can obviously select any color that you like. So for example, you can also make it red and then you know you can change the color of the screen to red as well. And I don't really need that background image anymore. So I'll just go ahead and hide it. We're also going to go into minus Y and let's actually drag our robot above the X axis here. So let's use the move tool and let's just move him up right here. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and save your work. Make sure to hit that like button if you're finding this tutorial series helpful. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, I'll see you all in the next part.